Welcome to the Daily Challenge for October 29th, 2014. Let's begin.
man, I love a good bow, but it only does one point of damage. And the Titanium Rapier is pretty damn good. Mm, I don't think it's worth it. Man, are you kidding me? Son of a bitch. 
I didn't know it would behave like that. I don't spend a lot of time in the tar. Fucking shit! The green ones can go through walls! Hmm. <sighs> I was doing the, uh, the red ghoul baby behavior where you go up to the wall and then you break through it and then it's in the tile right in front of you and then you kill it and then... Bob's your uncle and everybody's happy. But... Nope. Oh, that was a pretty good run. Uh, I'm probably not gonna be very high up on the scoreboards though, because there were some pretty good weapons and it is... Six, seven, eight, nine. It's about four hours and 20 minutes after the daily challenge ticked over, so a lot of people have made attempts at it. Yeah, not bad considering. Number 29. <clears throat> Number 29. I uh, definitely feel much better about this run than the last one. This one felt like more of a reasonable death, whereas the other one was just something that was just plain stupid. So, okay, hmm. I'm trying to think over if there's anything I've learned. Um, I didn't learn, but I did reinforce my knowledge about how the green ghouls behave. Or whatever the hell they're called. What are they? Ghouls? Ghasts? I just think of them as, like, angry fetus ghosts. That's what they are to me. They're just, like, babies that died when they were really young and they're very unhappy about the fact that they never got to live their life so they choose to take out their anger on living people yeah they're dead babies uh anyway what was i saying oh yeah reinforce my knowledge about the uh their behavior when they're green different from when they're red yes i knew that already but well just had a reminder also learned more about what happens when you're when you try to attack while in tar because i've rarely ever actually gone into tar so I know that they occupy you. They occupy you for a turn because you you kind of get stuck in it, stuck in it, and then you have to spend a turn getting out of it, and then that frees you up to actually do something. Whether that something is move out of the tar or attack again, I guess that's up to you. But yeah, if you're in the tar and there's an enemy next to you and you try to move in their direction to attack, it doesn't actually attack. You spend that you spend that turn getting out of the muck. So I did not know that. I'm not sure if that's how it works in water as well. I think it's the same. I believe the only difference between water and tar is the fact that once you are once you go in water and come out of it, the water disappears, whereas with tar it doesn't. It stays behind. I think that's the only difference. Anyway, that has been the Daily Challenge for October 29th, 2014. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.